Have you been scratching your head trying to figure out where to dine from this Valentine's? Have you tried Peruvian cuisine? My top suggestion for this year is Koya in Mayfair, London. Koya Mayfair celebrates the spirit of Latin America through exceptional Peruvian food, innovative pisco infusions, Latin American rhythms, and contemporary art. Located in Mayfair, Koya Mayfair is complete with a members club, pisco bar and lounge, private dining room and restaurant. At the heart of Koya is its Peruvian kitchen, led by renowned chef Sanjay Duvedi, Koya maintains traditional elements of Peruvian cooking whilst blending influences from Japanese and Chinese cuisines to create mouth-watering dishes. Equally impressive is the bar and cocktail offering a living library of pisco infusions creatively infused in-house to offer a variety of exciting flavors and a wine list curated by the industry's finest sommeliers. Hello there, welcome to my channel. I'm with my best friend and we are out here trying Peruvian food. If you're curious to see what it's like, then watch this video to the end. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> hi everyone. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Koya is named after the Queen of the Incas. She brought the community together as a family, treating everyone equally. One thing that I should tell you is that you cannot try Peruvian cuisine without trying out ceviche. We have the sea bass pesco ceviche with chocolate and cancho, which are Peruvian corn, sweet potatoes and onions. Okay. Your Corvina ceviche with a truffle and ponzu tiger, red chilies and a rice cracker. And a tuna chief with the most spicy ceviche with soy, okay. sesame seeds and a rice cracker. I would suggest that you start with this one and end with this one because this is spicy. Yeah. And dish out into these bowls, drizzled in the tiger sauces okay. to get the full experience. Alright. Enjoy. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, so right now we're having the Koya Signature Medley of Ceviches. Which one are you having now? It's the Lupina Classica. Okay, what does it have in it? So it's got um, sea bass, uh -huh. red onion, it had some uh, sweet potato as well. Yeah. How is it? It's very flavorful. Like I can taste the... Um, um, it's very. I can't it. Yeah, I think I can say flavorful. Uh -huh. You can taste the when you have a bit of the sweet potato. You can taste 
tasted. It's quite tangy as well. Yeah, it's got a tangy taste. What I've noticed is it's really nice and you appreciate the flavours once it settles on your palate. Lovely. What did you call this, by the way? So this is Corvina ceviche. So it's made with stomba ceviche. You have truffle oil, ponzu, and uh, rice cracker on top. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. And then we have, we have tuna chifra ceviche with sesame seeds, chili garlic paste, rice cracker on top. And this is a little bit spicy, that's why we left it for long. Okay. There you are. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. from um, Koya Signature Cocktail. So the lady said it's got a spirit from um, a Peruvian spirit called Pisco Camarata. Apologies if I haven't said it correctly, but it's also got some egg white in it and um, I think some fresh lime juice if I remember correctly. And that's why, I, I guess that's why it looks milky. Mm, yeah. Frothy because of the egg whites. Oh yeah. yeah. Probably, yeah. How is it? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. 
But I love the presentation of these churros. It's so unique. Have you ever seen churros presented in this way? Okay, let's have a go. Overally, tasting ceviche was a memorable experience and the ambience very unique. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.